Okay, well, we've got to show that if this equation equals a half, it follows that sine 2 theta equals cos 2 theta. So how are we going to do that? Well, it's based on the first two parts of the question in part A. This part in brackets we saw reduced down to cos theta minus sine theta. So that's where we're going to start, okay? Copy down the cos theta here and change the part in brackets to what we had in A part 1. We saw that that was cos theta minus sine theta. So it's going to equal a half. Now I'd be thinking about that second identity. Where is that going to come in? Well, if we expand the bracket, okay, what we're going to get is cos squared theta, okay, cos theta times cos theta, cos squared theta, then we get minus cos theta sine theta. And if we subtract half now from both sides, we've got minus a half equals zero. And this part on the left here was in a part two we saw that that was exactly the same as a half of cos 2 theta minus sine 2 theta. Okay? So it must now equal zero. And what we could do is times both sides by two and that's going to leave us with cos 2 theta minus sine 2 theta is equal to 2 times 0, well that's clearly 0. And then you can see we're basically there now. All I've got to do is add sine 2 theta to both sides, gives me clearly cos 2 theta equals sine 2 theta. You might not want to write that line in, but just go straight towards sine 2 theta equals cos 2 theta. Okay, so that would show us that result.